Hi, this is Cindy from My View, and this isn't really a tutorial. I'm just, I just thought it would be easier to show you how I make my hair textures, and I'll just talk you through it. So, Control New. Well, Control New, and then I'm gonna set my width and height to two five six. Two five six. And I'm gonna fill in the background grey. New layer, black, black blurry brush, scoop that along there, soft light, go back down to the base layer, filter, noise, add noise, and that's on 18.44% and Gaussian and monochromatic. Filter, blur, motion blur, and that's on minus 90 degrees and a distance of 533 pixels. And I'm gonna do, gonna do Control and T, which is transform. Just drag that along so the hair strands are thicker. I'm gonna make a new layer, black. Drag that across. Filter blur, Gaussian blur, about 15.8 pixels. And then that will go to soft light as well. And then I'm going to make a new layer, white blur brush. Along there, and along, oh, along there. Soft light as well. And I'm going to make it look more realistic by doing a few black lines through there. Filter, blur, motion blur. Say around 23. And I soft light that again. I'm going to make a new layer and put that at the bottom black blow brush on the bottom of the texture. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur, soft light. And now I have that, and because it's grey and black and white, I can change that to any colour I want. So, say I wanted a brown, I'm going to make a new layer above all of that, select a brown, around there, I'm going to fill in that, and then I put it on overlay. Now it is a really nice brown texture there. I think I'm going to highlight it a little bit more. So I'm going to make my white brush. Just put a few dots along there. And along there. I'm going to set that layer to soft light. Well, overlay. Filter blur. Borsum. No. Filter. Blur. Motion blur. I'm setting that to about 10. <coughs> now you have a really glossy brown texture. And say you wanted them any, any colour, then that will work with any colour as well. <coughs> 